In this video, I will show you how to make a histogram in Excel like a pro. Hi, I'm Luca. Welcome to this channel where I share weekly videos about Lean Six Sigma and how it can improve both your professional and personal life. If you're new here and want to keep learning more about Lean Six Sigma, please click the red subscribe button and little bell below so you get notified as soon as new content is uploaded. A histogram is the most commonly used graph to show frequency distributions and can show the shape of the data's distribution. Don't forget to stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip on how to make your graph look like a pro. So I've preloaded a data set here and these are just height and you can see here there's 15 data points for different heights. And now I want to put this into a histogram. So I simply highlight the, the data, go to my insert tab, go over here to the charts area and select this scatter or bubble chart. Go down to more scatter charts. And then if you scroll down here, you'll see histogram, select histogram, click OK. And you've done, you've got your basic histogram. However, here's where it's going to look like you know what you're doing. We need to change the bin sizes here because Excel does it automatically for you, but we want to customize this a little bit. So simply right click the X axis data on the horizontal, go to format axis. And here you can see it's called bin width or bin no number of bins. So the easier thing to do is select number of bins and play around with this. So let me, I'm going to try five. I'm going to select five, press enter or return. And you can see that it automatically changes the number of bins that uh, you've, you have. Now, I don't really like these decimal points here. So maybe I'm going to change the bin width to two. And that looks a lot better. So you can see it, it automatically counts for you the number of uh, occurrences within this bin range. And there you go, you got your, yourself a nice looking histogram. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out more of my videos about Lean Six Sigma here.